Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. We'll show how to fix do you get a There are currently no power options available. Message when you click the power icon on your Windows 10 or 11 PC. Chances are you've been revoked access to use the power options on your computer. Let's go start and method 1. Press the Windows Plus I key to open Windows settings. Go to the system. And click on Troubleshooter. Click on Other. Troubleshooter. Then scroll down to the Power section. And then click the Run button in the Power section. When the troubleshooting is completed, restart your computer and see if there are power options available. Method 2. Click icon on Windows and type command prompt in the search box. Click Run as Administrator. In the command prompt window, type Power for Esther Defaults Teams and then press Enter. Manually restart your computer and check if there are power options available. If yes, the problem has been resolved. If not, continue to the next step. Open the command prompt as administrator. Then type in the command. Sesedit slash configure slash cfg percent winder percent backslash inf backslash defibase dot inf slash db defibase dot sdb slash verbose and then press enter. Manually restart your computer again and the power options should be available. Method 3. Edit local group policy. Press Win plus S. Type Group Policy and click on Local Group Policy Editor. Press Enter. User Configuration Administrative Templates Start Menu and Taskbar. Then find the Remove and Prevent Access to the Shutdown, Restart, Sleep, and Hibernate Commands item on the right. If this item is enabled, so, you need to double click on this item to disable it. Manually restart your computer again and the power options should be available. Method 4. Press Win Plus R to open the Run dialog, then type in Regedit and press Enter. This will open Registry Editor in Windows. The video description link copy to paste here. Then check if there is a no close entry under this key. Type no close. You need to double click on the no close entry and set its value data to zero and then click OK. Restart your windows for the changes to take effect and the power options should be available. Method 5. Press the Windows Plus I key to open Windows settings and click system. Elect recovery from the sidebar on the right. Click this PC under Recovery Options. Select Keep My Files if you'd like to preserve your files. Restart your PC. If you are first visiting my YouTube channel, please subscribe and notify the bell icon click and see your next updated video.